Hello everybody, I am Dr. Sneha Patel from MB Patel English Medium Secondary and Higher Secondary School. Yesterday in Psychology subject, we discussed about the definition of sensation from the first chapter. We shall continue from that, there onwards. Today we will deal with the visual sensation. What is that? The sensation that we receive through our eyes, that is called visual sensation. And for the visual sensation to take place, what is more important? The presence of light. If there is no presence of light, then visual sensation cannot take place. I shall talk to you about certain parts of our eyes that is also discussed in our chapter. First of all, the white portion in our eyes that's called sclera and it is made up of white fiber and also it is tough because it protects the insides of our eyes secondly iris you must notice the color of the eye that round portion which indicates the color somebody has black brown blue gray correct so that portion is called iris and you have observed that little black dot kind of a thing in the center of our eyes actually that is a hole one eighth inch of hole from that hole the light passes inside our eye and where does it fall it falls on the retina yes but in between this pupil and retina, there is a presence of fluid, the vitreous fluid, which keeps the eyes moist. After the image falls on the retina, the optic nerve, which is connected with the brain, takes the message to the brain and the brain recognizes the object that is in front of us and we can understand what we are watching or seeing in this way visual sensation takes place i would like to also discuss about the muscles of the eyes which are called ciliary muscles these ciliary muscles are very soft and delicate but play a very important role how our eyes have to continuously focus sometimes on the faraway objects and sometimes on at the near objects. When we look at the far objects, then our eyes contract. And if we look at the close up objects, then our eyes expand. So this expansion and contraction of the eyes are done because of the ciliary muscles. So retina and ciliary muscles play a very important role in the visual sensation. Now, as a continuation in the next video, I'll explain you this again with the help of a rough diagram of the eye. See you soon. Go through this video again and make your notes. Thank you so much. Hello students. This is the continuation of the previous video of the visual sensation. In the previous video, I explained to you about the vis visual sensation. And in your examination, you will have to authenticate your answer with the help of a diagram. Now, those who are good in drawing, they can definitely take help of the textbook diagram. But those who require a little help, they can make use of this rough diagram, which I'm going to explain. I'll come closer for this. I hope you can see it. This is the rough diagram of the eye. Here, this portion is the white portion that is called sclera. This is iris. The color of the eye we can see here that is called iris. The small hole over here that is the pupil. So, for the visual sensation to take place, the external object has to be present in the light. Then 
what happens the image of this external object falls in the pupil and it travels to the retina this is the retina and in between this there is the presence of vitreous gel it is very important liquid because it keeps the eyes moist then after the image falls on the retina the optic nerve takes the message to the brain and then the brain tells us what image is there in front of us and once we come to know what is there in front of us the object then we can say that visual sensation has taken place the ciliary muscles are these which help in contraction and expansion of the eyes to focus at the far away objects or at the near objects students this is a very very important question you have to explain this visual sensation first by drawing the diagram and then by explaining the diagram i hope you understood it well if you have any queries please ask me now i'm going to upload the page of the textbook where you will know about the visual sensation please read that particular page see these two videos again and if you have any doubt i'm available in the chat please solve your queries and as a homework yes you have to prepare notes first you have to draw the diagram and below that you have to write the explanation of the visual sensation and yes in your board examination it can come for 5 marks very very important part of the examination i know you can do it really well stay safe stay home study well and save lives thank you